Hello, friends and neighbors. This is uh, Heathman coming at you with another Mega 65 demo. Um, in this version, uh, I created uh, analog clock face, and um, kind of hard to see right now because it is like 107, so the hands are kind of right on top of each other. But the idea is that um, you know the Mega 65 has a real time clock, so this little basic demo would read the real time clock every you know every minute and then update some analog uh, hands on a, on a face here maybe this could be a screensaver at, at some point but the real point was just to show that uh, you know how how easy it is to do something like this in, on the Mega 65 so uh, my 10th grade geometry teacher would be super proud of me for figuring out all the angles on this uh, on the radians for these uh, you know drawing these lines for the clock face hands but um, you know, another cool thing I programmed in here was uh, you can use the number keys to change the colors um, on the clock hand. So if you want to, so that's real time. Uh, I kind of like the green and the purple there, but um, but yeah. Anyway, I haven't tested this to run it, you know, for like 36 hours to make sure it doesn't have any glitches or bugs. But I'm pretty sure it'll go all the way around um, with no issues there. Um, uh, and yeah, it's probably 50 lines of code for this. Take, I'll give you a. <clears throat> um, show you quickly the source code here. Uh, yeah, written in Mega 65, the Basic 65. So basically, uh, just set up some really simple variables at the at the beginning. You know, for the hand radius, um, the clock face radius itself. Set your colors. Uh, create the uh, the char function lets you draw the numbers on the clock, so you so you can just use the characters instead of drawing three and twelve. Um, uh, yeah, it's got a couple subroutines. One that just goes and checks the time. One that goes and draws each uh, clock face hand itself, and then one to uh, update the digital clock uh, at the bottom. So um, one kind of neat function here that uh, was kind of an afterthought, but I'm glad I did it is. Uh, when you're drawing an hour hand for an analog clock, if you notice when you look at the hour hand, it doesn't stay stationary between the hours. Um, it it moves slightly until it's in position for the next hour. So I added uh, line 2330 here does that so that the hour hand will move slightly, a small bit of angle for each time the minute moves, uh, half a degree so that it will be in the right position the next time, you know. The minute hand gets around to the next hour, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, really simple using sine and cosine and uh, some high school geometry. Enjoy, guys. Uh, I've uploaded this to the file host as well. Have a good one.